All right, welcome to Mac Helpers. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add text boxes. So before I showed you kind of similarly how to do this if you watched our previous video about um, adding text to pages. But so this is going to be your body text. And then if you want to actually add a text box, so let's say you got a lot of images, charts, graphs, tables, pictures all throughout your document. Working with working with a text box is actually pretty cool. And it's almost a preferred way to do it when I'm using uh pages depending on what I'm doing if I'm doing a really media rich document I'm gonna use text boxes but if I'm gonna use a lot if it's mostly text then I'm gonna just type directly into the word document itself so to do that go ahead and click the plus sign in the top right here see the little text bar it's gonna give you a couple different options the top left is gonna be your basic text so I'll just go ahead and click that see how it automatically added that text box so you can go ahead and adjust the size of the text box just like normal move it all the way around uh, all different types of things there. And then you can actually move the text box itself by just clicking on the mince inside when you got those blue this highlight with the blue dots. So to, to type the text in there, go ahead and just double tap and then it's going to automatically clear that sample text out of there. This is sample text. Whoops. Text for my text box. Simple enough. Now when you go through here, you can actually change the font itself directly from the keyboard so you can tab it over click the tab button which will tab it or actually you have to have just the cursor there but it will tab it um, go ahead and delete that you can adjust the indentation there you can adjust the font oh you actually I'm sorry you won't be able to adjust the font until you have it selected but you can click there let's just trim buck two and doesn't look like it changed it much let's go to one that I know will change it Futurama that changes it here's your font sizes again pretty straightforward and what's cool is you can actually manipulate this and let's say you like you know how in some books or magazines how they got like the basic text and it's kind of then this manipulates where this goes so I'm gonna actually change this real quick and like this is text in the body part of the pages document period Okay, so now if I click back on this text box, so like this is a sample text. So right now how it's wrapping is it's going above and below. And so go ahead and click the text box again. Or I'm sorry, so you got your text box highlighted. Go ahead and click the style bar, the paintbrush tool. And so you can go back to style, your, your style options. You can add a shadow, add shadow to the text itself. Some of them don't really work on text, but they would work on the box itself. Reflection doesn't really seem to be working. Um, opacity, that's just going to change it whether you want it bolder or not. Um, go ahead and click the shadow off. Click on border. This will actually add a border to the text box itself. So let's do a dark green or green. And let's go ahead and make the width bigger. Let's do like a, the chalk line. Or let's do like this line. Um, so that's kind of it with that. Then you can fill the actual text box itself. So let's say you wanted this little crazy stuff in there, or you wanted a little gradient effect in there. So that's how you can manipulate an actual stylize the text box itself. So you can click on text, and that's going to show you it's oh, it's 15 point future Futura. And I want to change that to Giza Pro. And so all these fonts and everything are actually already added into. Uh, pages for you which is really cool and so I want to do something that's easy to read so let's go with the dark the darkest purple so that's kind of it for the text or I'm sorry you got bold italics justify it center it a lot of different things now these are good for the actual paragraph styles depending on what you're doing with it, if you're writing a book um, this just kind of adds more specific ways of how the text is going to look and how it's going to format when you're exporting it and things like that. So title means it's going to add like kind of an H1 header. Um, same with the heading. But to keep it simple, just select body and then, or if you didn't like it, you liked how it was before, click back off of that, click undo. So I liked, I liked that one. Let's say I like that one the best. Now I highlight the box again click on style and then it's going right back into that section so now for the arrangement 
now this is what I was talking about in that wrap section. So I can go above and around, so I can go around. So watch when I go right there. See how it's kind of moving the text in between there, and you can kind of adjust it. So let's say I wanted it like, let's say this. Yeah, let's say like I want it like that. Or if I wanted to go back into it, you can go to above and below. So since this is not a full, it doesn't go the this this text down here doesn't go the full length. It would actually split it up between the top and the bottom. So I'll show you how to do that real quick. I'm just going to copy and paste this stuff real quick. So I'll paste it a couple times just so we have some text to actually work with. So when you look at the document, it looks like this. But so now when I adjust this, it's automatically adjusting it because that's how I have it is above and below. So if I go back here and around, see I'll show you how it splits it like that. It's just a really cool way to do it and it's, it's really simple. Or you can just go to none and see how it, the text box is now sitting right on top of it. And this is the same for all media. I just wanted to show you a little bit more detail of how that works. So automatic is just going to automatically do it for you. Uh, but it looks like it's going to automatically do above and below. Or actually, it kind of just goes around with how, wherever you put this. So if you want it over here, it's going to be there. See how it all just adjusts like that. Then you can add columns to the text box itself. See how I automatically added that, and then, whoops, then go back to that again, and then I can minus that column out, or you can do the type of margin so it can be more centered in the box. And lock before just will lock that so it won't you can't accidentally change it or anything like that. And so that's kind of it for the text box itself. Uh, let's go ahead and see if there's any other things that you can stylize it or change. I mean, that's basically it for it. Uh, here's your border again and your effects. So that's kind of it for a text box. It's quite simple. It's very similar to using the regular text, except you can add different colors and make it just manipulate it a little bit more. So if you guys have any questions, make sure to email us at info at yourmachelpers.com or the best way is to post it on our wall so other people like yourself that have similar questions can get benefit from it. So go ahead and post on our wall a question uh, or send us a private message uh, that says, um, any, any questions you might have uh, and we'll be there to help you out and that's facebook.com slash mac helpers or like I said before info at your mac helpers .com. thank you